Alright, but yeah, what should I choose? The sword's pretty cool. The tool is just sort of not very good. Like, you need a ridiculous amount of faith and intelligence to actually make it do real damage. Yeah. I mean... A dexterity I've already at least started working on because of the sacred relic sword you gave me. <clears throat> so I could easily just get it to 35 to be able to use um, Morgoth's sword. Whereas intelligence is still at level 9, so... Yeah, and if you want to actually mile. do damage, you need to get it ridiculously high. Alright, I'll go ahead and grab Morgoth's sword. Mm-hmm. Alright, anyways. Alright, where should I head to first? Because we got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we're on the Xbox One, Rico. We could wipe that dragon out of existence if you want real quick. Yeah, okay. We'll, yeah, we'll finish up uh, all that Ronnie-related stuff so that way we can progress on There's some There's an Everjet Halo there as well, in the top left of that. Uh, <laughs> Do you want me to help you get the quiver at Ronnie's full moon spell first? Or do you want, because once the dragon's dead, you can't summon me up there anymore. Um. I mean, I can use all the help I can get, I guess. Yeah, I'll put my. You see the bloody thing on the side of the screen? Yeah. I'll just put it near the grace when I'm in. Yeah, whenever you see that, it should mean they should be able to summon me as long as you haven't killed the boss in the area. Alright, it's just a little bit to the right of the... Alright, here we all. go. We can summon ya. <clears throat> now, hopefully we're not going to get a lot of invaders up here, because that would be annoying. <clears throat> right, out of water. If we do get invaded, oh. let's at least hope it's got someone with a bit of faith in the PvP world of this shit. Changed my saddle since I was helping my friend. Yeah, you're dressed up in the ox armor, but at least you've got medium roll. Oh, that's the dragon. No, that's a different dragon. What do you mean that's a different dragon? There's more dragon? than one. Oh, you gotta be shitting me. God, I, I feel so better now that I'm not. Wow, that was quick. Oh, great. <laughs> there we go. Okay, say so how loud is the TV? Not to think about it. I forgot. Remotes are on my side. I forgot. The the volume was up for Netflix. Say, why did behind you say you, something? Behind you, behind you. Oh, cool. Message was praised. Cool. Ooh. Holy shit, that was close. Getting a massive discount on the Series X in France, Rico? Holy shit! Okay, like, I don't want to push it, but I mean, if you ever have the money and you feel like uh, being a generous donator, why don't you go ahead and get me one of those and just, just ship it to me? <laughs> Again, no, I'm not pushing my luck. I'm not going to make you do it. But, like, if you do, that would be awesome. That's a pretty good fight right there. Oh, yeah. 
He almost died, but the guy was very honorable. There's no, no bullshit. Oh, yeah, there's another dragon, by the way. Yeah, like, probably the most bullshit is the fact that you're using blood tax, but even then, that's not, like, a terrible, uh, overpowered thing. It just regenerates some of your health from stabbing the enemy. It's the thing I did do, to be honest. Yeah, this is more my style. And I wanted to feel like I was doing something. So, I was trying to slice up their ankles. Uh, I want this one. There we go. I guess something died because I just got some health back. No, I didn't lose any health. The other jail is just over there. To the right, but you can't go do it obviously because you're involved right now. Yeah, but you if I can at least find it, then I'll be prepared. Fight for time. When I take care of it. Yeah, here we go. Let me just go over to the uh, Stake America and then I'll remember it. Mm -hmm. The ringleader sever jail. Oh, I think I know this one. Maybe. I might know this one. You're over there with the jail, and I'm finding crystallians over here. I'm coming back. I just needed to make sure I discovered it, so I I can come back to it later. Oh, there's crystallians everywhere over here. I hate that. Some of the most annoying things about editing down Elden Ring streams is that there's occasionally these bouts. Where, like, I guess my headset just goes stupid because it crackles for a few minutes. So I hope that doesn't end up affecting Rico's hearing. Nation over, thank God. I think I'm hearing a beetle. Another red wolf for Rannigan? Nearly killed you. I know. He's gonna try to step back and, uh, use. Taker's Flames, but then, uh... Yeah, there's a lot Muscle of stuff. Rebel shit. Oh, yeah. Smith and Stone 8. Plus, I mean, that was three of them. Nice. I can see if I can keep upgrading, uh... My... Lord Sworn Greatsword. First off, well done. Good <laughs> <laughs> God, I hope there's no more crystallians on the way down here. Well, if you do, you hopefully still have your trusty hammer. Actually, you got like two trusty hammers. I've got like four of them in total. I've got two in the bank. <laughs> Actually, I forget. Is there a weapon specifically in this game named the trusty hammer? Probably not. It's gotta be a game nice. where there's a hammer named that, though. <laughs> Seek three great wise beasts. Hmm. There's the first one. Ah. Alright, what do I do? Shoot it with someone. I can't. It won't hurt it.
there's one. The next one is up in the air somewhere. Up in the air? Here's the spirit spring. So it's somewhere nearby. Oh, there it is. I can see it. Oh, there you are, you little shit. I guess you got it. Yep. For the last one is... There's another fucking dragon. That's not the dragon, is it? No. Because the dragon spawns out of nowhere. Stuff I'm just to increase my lightning damage. Loincloth Chad. Uh, Luke, is there, like, yeah, something that here. the enemy can wear to look like you? Because I swear you just died. Fuck sakes. Like he's wearing his right cloth. Dragon got me. There's no point in attacking a corpse that is fading away into dust. You're wasting your time, you little bitch. Alright, now I can actually put my actual best cell back on. I don't need fucking Kamehameha for this. Well, yeah, that dude was using a cheese attack strat build. It's where he flings fire and then he can just instantly attack me even if he's got a heavy weapon in his hand. Okay, just need a reminder of where you were at. You still parked like the very first, uh, um, I was about to call it a bonfire, instead of grace. Yeah, I'm back at the grace. Alright, I just need to find my way back to that one. Just fast travel it. <sighs> Didn't realize just how far away we were from it. We're not that far from the third till. Hopefully it should still be active. Even though you died. Oh, I just realized... Uh, Rico said, I can't believe you chose Hunter over Titan in the beginning. That is technically false. Eric wanted to play Destiny 2 immediately when it came out. Chase couldn't immediately get it. 
So I created an, my Hunter character in Destiny 2 first, and then eventually transferred over to use my Titan from Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. Fortunately, Rico's not here to hear that. So I gotta make sure I explain that to him next time. I think, like, the one problem with the Crucible Knight armor, it has no real effective COD piece. Hey! Beautiful. Don't you dare be attacking the fucking turtles. What'd they ever do to you? They didn't have their boss spawn in to be hit. Treat the dogs with respect, you monster. Fuck down, these are some chunky wolves. Yeah, I mean, this sword's literally almost fully upgraded and it still took four hits to hit them. Why are the wolves so chunky? Already married, right? No. Like, well, no, I haven't found her uh, doll body again to give her the ring. I have. Oh, I just here. haven't given it. It's in this place. Yeah. So I haven't married her. All right. Literally, last time when I got to this place, we found the place, and then you told me to go somewhere else because we started another side quest. And then we actually had to make sure that we finished up. Uh, what was his name? Yura? Yura? I forget. You know, the the guy with the sword that you wanted. Yeah, he... Yeah, we finished his quest. Yeah. Like, that was one of the things that got us sidetracked. Then we also had, uh, Millicent we worked on. Um, like, obviously, of course, we had started the, um... Oh, yeah, did you get Millicent her prosthetic? No, did, because no, we, we didn't, didn't get, get to the, the castle. castle did we? Yeah, we didn't get okay, to the that's... castle. That's another yeah, that's thing that we need to finish. To then again, though, when we were in that area, we were attacked by, like, several invaders that might have been part of the reason. It's just over there, can you see it? Stand about here, you should be able to get a better shot from it. Aha! Yeah, I see him now. There we go. Oh, yeah. I went too far to the right. Some assistance. There we go. Much easier to kill these wolves with two swords and not one. It's the rise. I am so fucking blind. Two trees. This is why we need deforestation. Man. Yeah, but we also need to save the forest so that way we can fucking breathe. We get more freaking air from the goddamn ocean, so it's fine. We also pollute the fucking ocean, so it's not fine. I guess we'll see which happens first. We either pollute the, pollute the waters faster or cut down the trees faster. It's funny though, because when we were watching Love, Death, and Robots, literally the first episode of Season 3, or you know, Volume 3, whatever you want to call it, was uh, these three robots talking about how humanity collapsed and everything, and what some of them did. Like, the tech millionaires just went and hunt out on a frickin... Um, Just keep going inside. Okay. Uh, apparently we were invaded by a bloody finger at some point. And then they left. Yeah, that's weird. That's honestly very unexpected. Yeah. Usually when bloody fingers invade, they just... 
<laughs> okay, but yeah, Tech Millionaires apparently went on oil rigs to survive and then ended up dying out because they tried to have everything automated by like AI and robots and whatnot, and the robots basically said fuck no, and so they died. <laughs> And, like, part of the episode is they were talking about how, like, the millionaires and the billionaires had the resources to fix everything and then didn't bother using it, instead focusing on themselves. And yet they still died off anyways. <laughs> oh, I am hearing the popping. A fucking phantom scared the daylights out of me. I actually thought it was a person. I just have a disc get stuck in my arm. The ones that fade in and out. Oh, there it is. Jump. Roll. Melee. There we go. I just took a moment. Nice, a somber smith and stone eight. Hey, that could go to the serpent hunter. Because I think that the three major swords I've been using are all at level eight now, too. I think. We're not going to go straight to fight the dragon. We're going to go into the church. Yeah. We also didn't finish off the one dragon. Well, it's fine, because once we've got this dragon, you probably will need to come back up here ever again. There's plenty of uh, starlight shards in here, by the way. Yeah. Those are actually come in handy for fighting Bright Card, if I recall correctly. Uh, they just restore FP over time. No, that's why I said they come in handy, because like, you can use the uh, Serpent Hunter special abilities against Bright Card. Yeah, but um, jumping melee does immediately. more damage than the than the ability does. Sneaking because we're gonna take him out, or are we sneaking because? Yeah, we're taking him out. I just need sneaky. Someone's a fucking sword. Yeah. There you go, you got a final hit. Nice. Nah, if you go into the church in the back, you'll see a hole.
and that is where you will find Ronnie's body. Just casually faded out of existence. Just be careful of that hole, you don't fall to, you know, your death. Yeah, of course. You know what, though? This requires a different attire. Yeah, man. You're marrying the, the, wai the waifu. Yep. Put on your best suit. The deathbed dress? I mean, do you have a suggestion? Probably not something that symbolizes death. Why not wear something that symbolizes death to marry someone who just conquered death? I mean, she killed, she conquered death by killing her half-brother? And herself? The carrying outfit, actually. The carrying... She's part of the carrying bloodline. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, it just didn't make sense to me to go there with the Crucible set. For whatever reason. You gotta wear the correct drip. Yeah, exactly. And you also get one of the best great swords in the game from her too. Mm-hmm. Might try to grind out to at least get the intelligence to you wield it at some point, but otherwise. God, her two fingers looks like has a thumb. Um, Chick really said, peace out. <laughs> so, it was thee who would become my lord. Perhaps I needn't have warned thee. I am pleased, however. Thou art a fitting choice. I go now to the night sky. It is there I shall find mine order. I bid thee, travel the path of the lord. And once all is done, we shall see each other. Once more. Oh, I'm so worried about that cutscene now because I swear I heard some uh, piffer paffer on my headset, which means it's likely gonna be in the fucking uh, VOD when I download it, which is gonna annoy the shit out of me. Is my face covered in blood? You didn't heal up after all. Let's like actually look at the sword real quick though. See how much uh, stats I'm gonna need. Did you know Radagon has a got dark moon great sword too? Why well yeah, but it got turned into the golden order great sword, right? Yep. Yeah. And then some random fucking uh doggo or whatever took it. Alright, but yeah, that is a really cool greatsword. Alright, actually, yeah. Crucible outfit it at least has better stats and everything. That's Tree Sentinel.
But yeah, it just made no sense to be. It just, I don't know. It didn't fit to be wearing that for the uh, wedding. <laughs> Uh, a wedding from a From Software game I actually don't hate. In case you don't understand, Luke Poo, Eric tried to make me do the, uh, I mean, Eric's the friend that you didn't meet yet. Uh, not, he wasn't the one that we were playing with tonight, but Eric tried to make me do, um, one of the endings in Dark Souls 3 that required a wedding. The problem is, the wedding does not go, at least not in the same way as the wedding here, because I don't know how much you know about Dark Souls 3, but it just didn't fit the character I was playing, and honestly, at any point, I probably should have just switched around characters and told my friends about it first, but instead I went and tried doing something fun for, like, you know, to add a story to it by creating another character, getting that character all the way up to almost the end, set for the same ending, and then just switching out the character. It confused Chase, but it angered Eric to the point that, uh, oh, that's a bear. It angered Eric to the point that he was yelling at me for 30 minutes after I had done that. There's that revenant you mentioned earlier, too. And ended up ruining the Dark Souls 3 playthrough because even though we tried to stream again, he had another reason to be yelling and ranting and everything. And I was like, you know what? I'm fucking done. So I ended up uh, quitting that Dark Souls 3 playthrough altogether, playing Code Vein because I just wanted to play another game. I wanted to get away from Eric being, well, Eric in that moment. And then eventually I streamed all of Dark Souls 3 by myself which went a whole lot better, and I enjoyed the game much more doing that. Who the fuck is whistling? Anyways. Oh yeah, you need to go to Ronnie's tower now and go fight the blight, if you haven't already. Yeah, I gotta do that, but since I'm up here anyways, I'm gonna just real quick go back to the ringleaders ever jail and take care of that. Because I think I know who I'm supposed to be fighting here. We should not go next to my for you. Um, you know what? What I'll do next after finishing up stuff out here with uh, the ringleader and Blyde and whatnot, we'll go continue with Millicent. So we need to get to the Shadow Fort area. So just let me know what the closest bonfire is that we should go to to get to the Shadow Fort. Mm -hmm. I said bonfire. You know what I meant. Sight of Grace. I was about to need to die from that fall that I just saw. I'm just glad I didn't die from the fall I just did. Yes, I want to enter the Ever Jail. What's on your physic right now? Anything useful? Um, honestly, I've forgotten. I think I have the bubble, though. Stop backing away, you fucking coward. What the shit? Ow! 
what the fuck? Okay. This guy's a little tougher than I thought he was gonna be. Damn, your cheeks got handed to you for that. Dumbass. So you need to head to the uh, tree gazing hill if you want to uh, go to the shaded castle. Stop! Shit. Sorry, my good boy. Well, better just go ahead and equip that drip. Rissable one looked better, in my opinion. Alright. Oh, you don't have it, okay. So it's... The Atlas Plateau is just north of that one. I had to unplug my headset and try to see if I could fucking fix I know it's not fixed though it's still fucking crackling I hear it I'm annoyed <laughs> mostly I'm annoyed because I had to take a few tries to fight the boss but I can, I'm annoyed because I got my headphones above my ears and I can hear the crackle from it that's fucking precious time in the video wasted all right what direction I'd say north Do I keep going up or go right uh, right. That's where the grace is. Should also be where Millicent is. It's not down there, but if you keep following it uh, north, you'll get to the Shady Castle eventually. Just let me off the horse real quick, because I just want to open up this chest. Great shield, Talisman. Cool. Anything else in this camp? Oh, okay, besides an archer. I think there's another carriage, and I think it has the troll sword inside of it. Okay, this is gonna be a close shave. Grab the item. Yes, troll's gold. Ow, ah, shit. cocky about it. Okay. 
Okay, just go, 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 go. We gotta run up that hill or just keep going this way. Okay. Some, oh, nice. Blood Blade Ash of War. That's cool. I got a bunch of crabs behind me, though. Alright, there's a bunch of giants here. Am I heading in the wrong direction? As long as you're going north. Yeah, I'm still going north. You can just go by the old Atlas Tunnel as well, by the way. It was behind that troll that you just went by a minute ago, but it's fine. Oh, is this Shadow Fort I'm looking at? When the stream catches up for you? Yeah. Go to the right and you'll see some rocks. You can jump up to get inside. Okay. You meant at the fort itself. So just go to the <laughs> wall of the Shader Castle and just go to the right. Just okay. follow the wall. I think I see the rocks. Oh, basilisks. I think you've gone too far around it. Yeah, I kind of suspected that at some point. I mean, you're in, so that's fine. Keep looking in these little junction areas till you find it. Yeah, okay. You find the pricks. What is what is wrong with that dude? He's like a straight up zombie. Surprise, motherfucker! Keep looking at the wall. Haha! <laughs> I got two backstabs. You don't suspect the thing. Backstab, bitch! Alright, I found the site of grace. My thing is already done. Okay. You've got a fucking stop headset. Stop! Yeah, I guess I broke that one day, I? Right? It's so goddamn hard. You come in? I went up the ladder because I didn't know if there was anything important up here. Wants it in an ambush. It's an ambush! Idiot. That's the way to the boss of the castle, but that's not where we need to go. Yeah. Oh, oh look who's that. Loincloth Chad. I hope you're ready for him this time. Well, you're not here, so I'm not. <laughs> okay, well, I'm getting back to you. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Right, let me get back over there. Oh, look who's here. Nuke at us, and then something spat poison, but we're good. Oh, he's still alive. Ow. Oh, shit. Fucking comet, man. Fucking asshole. Is he like a stream sniper or some shit? I don't think so, because we're literally the only people watching the stream, but like seriously, what the fuck? 
fuck? All right, I need him to not do that again. Like, I'm overpowered, but I'm not that overpowered to just be able to handle myself. I need someone who's just as overpowered. If not more so, considering you're on what? New game plus four? Shut up, dude. I haven't even seen Stranger Things Season 4, and that fucking song's going through my head. Because there's a cover of it that plays on my Pandora radio station when I'm the one who controls the radio at work. Or the, uh, Bluetooth speaker. Should I skip them. Kind of hard to when they're spitting poison or acid or some shit at me. So we almost had that asshole. I swear we had killed him and then he came back, you know, almost fully healed and he was like, surprise motherfucker. For fuck's sake, headset, stop being a bitch. Oh, you cheating bastard. Ow. The fucking revenant? Why did you climb the ladder? Uh, because I wanted to grab the Somber Smith and Stone, or. I think it was the Somber Smith and Stone. Why didn't that work? Oh crap, now I'm suddenly poisoned. Alright, whatever, I can handle that later. I have enough health, I can endure it. I just need to get up the ladder. Oh yeah, that's right. I got a shit ton of runes. Why haven't I tried to at least level up a little bit? I know I could get at least one level up out of it. Revenant dealt with. Poison dealt with. How much you really don't want to deal with them that you're just using carry on splicer, whatever it's called. Yeah. Big enough deal. The arm. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking poison. Don't roll in it like I did. You're targeted. Yeah, it's okay. Where the fuck is my soap? Climb up the ladder on my left. Wow, that is real homing capabilities. That thing fucking followed you all around the corner. He really doesn't like you. There's a ghost, but there's also a doggo. A ghost gives you literally no useful info. Oh, I'll be up the ladder waiting for you. Yeah, I'll be upstairs in a sec. I just want to see what useless info he has. And our storied sword. What sword would that be?
I heard that some of the perfumes are actually pretty OP. Yeah. That's a dumbass thought of me to have. Like, I probably shouldn't invoke his name if I'm saying that this is basically... <laughs> and if Greta is basically an idea of what it would be like if Guts and Casca had a badass daughter. So why would I invoke his name? <laughs> oh shit. Oh. He went and did the 2B attack. Yeah. Which that's like my own officially. Like I bought it because it was getting off of Game Pass along with Undertale that was also apparently gonna be leaving Game Pass soon. So I just need to actually play it. With all the statues. Executioner's yeah. sword. Okay, so that's that's what that was all about. Oh, hello, Melania. There you go. Now you can go visit uh, Millicent and give her the arm. Okay. Where do I need to go from here to get there? So, at the plateau, Grace, where you was before. This time, don't jump off the cliff. And just keep traveling north and keep following the cliff till you find her. Okay. You'll see some ruins nearby, so you can't miss it. Okay. And even if you do somehow miss it, just go left instead and go up and then drop down from those ruins. Are those dummy humans? Yeah, don't worry about them. Yeah. I'm on a horse. I don't need to worry. Oh. Ow. Yeah, on the right of the ruin, you'll see another ruin you can drop down to. That's where it is. Okay, I just want to make sure I don't jump off the wrong place. Because I don't want to just be randomly attacked, you know? But I also don't want to fall to my death. Who's fighting up there? I just noticed. You look at the map, and look at the ruins. You'll be able to see where you need to go. Okay, so... Out of ruins, there's some that are just down a little cliffside to the northwest, northeast of the cliffs where the original ruins are. It's not all the way up there, it's right at the locked ruins. Okay, so up from where I am. Up is over it... the locked ruins, and then go press up on the stick for about one millionth of a second. That's how close it is. Wolves just suddenly spawned. There's a grace. And a golden seed. 
Alright, now let me not be a dumbass. There's a it's just up on the hill just to the left. Okay. Just real quick though. Um... Alright. Just so I'm not gonna be losing a lot of runes if I die. So just like up the hill. North. It, it should show north. Wait, in which way you're going? Okay, up that hill. Oh, there it is. There she is. I see her. The next place we need to go to do is Windmill Village. We meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The Scarlet Rot has stilled. Which I believe you already have the grace for. I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather than anyway, make your way there. I'm just gonna go. I realized if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. Are you giving me this arm? Thank you. I am in your debt yet again, I think. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Yeah, very, may very well if be possible. If the arm serves well enough, it might be possible for me to wield a sword again. Okay. Perhaps then I can aid you in battle. Alright, so that's all you had to say. Okay, um, I kind of feel the need to use the battle. I want to make sure I'm at least traveling to the... Bonfire. I'm mean, not bonfire. The uh, side of grace. Which one is it again? It's not that. There's multiple windmill villages, but there's the main one that we're going to. Dumnula. If you actually go to the bridge, the broken bridge on the south side, there's a ball that takes you straight to the north side. And it's just around the corner from the thing. Or you could go where you're going and go up the hill. That works too, I guess. Look, you weren't answering me immediately. I just went and took initiative because I just I'm trying to figure out where the fuck to go. <laughs> also, I forget what goes on at the Corpse Stench um, shack. I forget what was going on there. Wait, is this also part of the Windmill Village? Is where, sir? Um, if your stream is at the same point as my stream is, or I'm pointing. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I know there's a thing at the bottom of the windmill village, but I don't know if you can summon me from there. Can I just go to the bottom of the windmill village and see if I can be summoned? There should be a great one should go in there somewhere. Alright, here's the ones that are just dancing. Yeah, so there would be a grace there, there then. Yeah, I got the grace. Alright, the summoning pool is all the way at the top, so don't go too far off. Alright, but should I like activate a Froll King or a Froll Finger Colin thing to No, you can't summon me from there, the blue thing on the, the screen has some part up. Okay. But you can summon me when either that shows up or there's a summoning pool nearby. The summoning pool is up the hill. Alright, but should I move forward though? Yeah. Just keep going okay. up the hill. You can't yeah. miss the summoning pool. Yeah, you just worried me for a second though, because of the dancing ladies and everything. Like I know that they'll They wouldn't be attack you into on... about half of the hill. Oh. All the ones near the bottom near the graves, they don't attack you unless you attack them. Okay. Am I any closer to the summoning pool? You'll see. Don't worry. Just keep going up. Because once you get up a certain amount of stairs, you'll eventually just see it smack bang in front of your face. Okay, maybe that's why they decided to start attacking, because the fucking dog got spooked. No, see the one with the rib cage at the end of the stick? She's sort of the little leader of them. Yeah, the weapons are made out of bones. Whoa, Just have to put her from there now. So, do you know what boss this is? Yeah. Yeah, I know. 
I wanted to choose peace, they didn't. I nearly rolled into that. Three, two, one. Okay, random, uh, Percusant also invaded. That was, uh, interesting. Rest at this grave, St. Millicent will be stood somewhere here. Hey, you got the poke as well. Yeah, of course. Peel you defeat this one to get the Godskin Peeler, and then you defeat the other one to get the clothes. Now you just gotta defeat the, uh, big, fat-ass Godskin... A uh, guy that was on the way to one of the towers. I forget. I don't think it's the one. And now you can cos Morgoth and then you'll be able to reasons, cosplay so. as any of the Foreskin Brothers. Oh, there she is. Ah, we meet yet again. The arm you gave me truly is a thing. And then you will move all the way like to the, the giant's place. To this to you of all people. But I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. All right. I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. I would have you call upon me. It is the only way. Okay. Shall we start making our way through the Forbidden Lands so you can get to the lift? Grand Lift of Road. Well, actually, I think first and foremost, I want to real quick just go back to the uh, table. Lost Grace there, the uh... Why then oh, X table and you then press A. Y, X, A. It will take you straight to the table. Yeah, whenever you open up the map, just press Y, X, and A, and it will take you straight to the round table. Do you not have a Smith and Stone 9 still? And I only have one somber Smith and Stone 8. Should I go to Malachis Black Blade or the Serpent Hunter? Uh, that's a tough choice. You can plenty of them once you get to the giant place. Just the more you upgrade the Serpent Hunter, the easier Rykard will be. Yeah. I feel like Rykard's gonna be piss easy when I do it with you. Because my friend was still. She, she had only just done Nala when we got there, so. The next thing she's got to do is kill. Radon. I think I have almost all the swords that would potentially be used for an Asta build in um, Elden Ring, or at least the swords I think would have worked best for. I don't Are know we if, going what to I want the giant yet, and so. all? What are we doing? What's this cave right here, by the way? Uh, it's called the Old Atlas Cave uh, Tunnel. Hmm. What goes on there? Don't remember. I know that up on that hill where Millicent was, up just up there is a boss. It's a Tabia Mirana, so you could go get another death route if you want to do that. Yeah, that's right. I have to visit him again. I have quite a few death routes. So wait, from Windmill Heights or from the previous place that Millicent was at? A tree gazing hill. So the last place Millicent was at. Just don't go too up that hill too fast. That's all I'm saying. Okay. The thing is, you said Earth tree gazing hill, but I don't see anything marked as that. So it's where it's confusing Well, if you me. go to the Atlas Plateau, Grace, and then go north to where Millicent was before we went to I'm Okay, so... I'm an idiot. <laughs>
Thank you.